Hi everyone, this is Michael's mom, Donna. What made moving to South Carolina so challenging is because we're from North Carolina. One day, a neighbor was receiving food from a church and she came to me and said, why don't you talk to them so they could deliver you some? So when the church came to my door, they asked me what did I need help with and I asked them would they pray with me. So they prayed for me and after the end of the prayer, one of the gentlemen that was praying said, the Father's getting ready to take you on a journey, but he'll be with you. So after that prayer, the Father said to me, pack up your things and move to South Carolina. After getting here to South Carolina, we did have jobs, but so much started happening that we end up losing them. And when we started living in the truck, one of the things I saw the most living in the truck was the lack of love. And then two incidents happened to us here. My cousin that's here in South Carolina, I reached out to her and she said that I couldn't come to her house, but we can meet her at a park. That really bothered me because the fact that she is family, first cousins, and she felt that way. Then another situation we had, we was parked at a Walmart and the manager had called the police on us, came out and said that they want that truck with the dirty rims to leave the parking lot and never come back again. What bothered me the most about that was that all he saw on the truck was the dirty rims. He had no compassion or what had happened to him for to be even in there. And one scripture that stays in my mind and on my heart is the one when the Father say, to whom much is given, much is required. But that requirement, he don't tell you all of that right away. You walk through it. And what me and my family want to do today is just thank you guys for just making up some of that love that we didn't get on the journey. Now we did have people that will come and be kind and nice. I'm not trying to say that that didn't happen, but we saw more of no love than we did of love. And I just want to take this time out to thank you. And the most important thing I want everyone to know is that our agenda is for the help the Father and Son save souls. That's why he took me through all this so that I could have the love and compassion for other people and might hear some of your story and my story. You never know. But today, I just want to say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. One last thing. When we stand at the gate of heaven, I want the line to be so long that we can't even count it. In Jesus' name, amen.